Guys, before we start the video, 11,200 V-Buck giveaway is happening soon. Seven days. Don't forget, enter in the description below. Top of the link, there's going to be a free V-Buck giveaway. Click that link and enter there. Don't forget to subscribe to Casual Pro. Awesome guy. His link was also in the description. But with that being said, let's get into the video, baby. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Pretty Guys. Another video, guys. You've been requesting a gameplay like this. I asked you guys, where on the map would you like me to land? You guys all said Tilted Towers. That was one of the main ones I saw. And Pleasant Park. So in today's video, we're going to cover how you get a victory royale landing at Tilted Towers. I'm going to give you guys some tips on Tilted Towers. Looks like this is a good this is a good path for Tilted Towers. After this video, we're going to go ahead and hit Pleasant. But if you guys please can't give this video a huge thumbs up. I appreciate that more than anything. But with that being said, man, let's get into the tips, man. Man. So tilted towers. What you want to do is when you're when you're going over Loot Lake. I guess the first tip I can give you is land, like drop once you're like I guess right here on Loot Lake, this kind of side of Loot Lake. Um, and then you want to fly like kind of at a I guess this is like a 45 degree angle. You just want to go kind of diagonal into the city. And then once you get about right here, you kind of want to go down a little bit more. Um, open your shoot around. Still, you want to be in the water when you open your shoot. It's depending. It all depends on where in tilted towers you want to go. Um, my suggestion. Uh, no, nah, that doesn't. Look good. There's a lot of people going here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and find a weapon. All right, this is a shield pot. We're gonna come to double L's. Double L's is a safe place to go to. Dang, double shield. I need a weapon. Oh shit. Oh my god. There's usually a weapon right there. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and find a weapon. We got shields, man. That's one good thing. Uh, so the first tip is landing. You want to make sure that you land on a roof with a weapon before anyone else. If you see other people landing there, just find a new spot. You gotta try and you can't be too indecisive. You gotta be quick on reaction. Because if you're too indecisive, you're going to end up picking up a wrong spot. But with that being said, let's go ahead and try and kill this kid. He's on that half. So since he's on that half and we're on this half, we're going to try and find a better gun. I think there's usually a chest up here. There we go, baby. There is a chest up here. All right, another shield. Some machine gun. I'm not complaining about the shields. I'm just saying I, I, I need a good gun, like a shotgun. But we'll, we'll use the golden pistol over the submachine gun because he's got a shotgun. Watch this. Ready? I'm just going to run and jump. There we go, babe. Yeah, he had a green pump. He could have one-pumped me to the head. That's why I was kind of hesitant on pushing because he could corner peek me. And when someone's corner peeking, that's when you just you can die. What corner peeking is is uh, when you're hiding around the corner and you're third person peeking to see when the person's going to push up on you. So I thought he was going to do that, but I guess not. So now that we took over the, the L's, double L's, no one else was there, we're going to push the Trump Tower. And a little suggestion, when you push here, go to the top. Push towards the top. Like I said, you never want to push from the bottom up. I think I hear one person in here. He's below me somewhere. Yeah, there's guns here, which means someone died here. Oh, he's got to be around here somewhere. This is this is how you corner peek, you guys. You got to do it like this. Oh, he's behind this door. There we go. Double pump, man. If, if you don't have a double pump, pause. I mean, I mean, not double pump. I mean, like, attack and a shotgun. So, I guess double shotgun, a pump as your main weapon, and then a tactical shotgun to switch to. That's what I meant. But go ahead, resume. If you have, like, a pistol or assault rifle, no matter what, I'm going to show you guys what I mean by this. Do not use just the pump shotgun and then let it pump again to take another shot because you're going to lose a lot of health by that time. Now, I'm going to push into another building. Once you take over each building, that's, that's all you got to do. That's the main technique that you guys want to do is you want to move from building to building. Once you take it over, once you hear no more footsteps there move on to the next that's how you just get a high kill gameplay oh i see that kid over there but you know what like i said we're just gonna focus on each building we're not really gonna we're not really gonna stand on top of the map we're not going for a high kill gameplay i can show you guys tips on how you get a lot of kills i think he's in his bathroom no i don't i didn't see him but i'm gonna show you guys the tip on how you get a lot of kills oh my god i thought i was gonna lose health now that i fell i gotta push from the bottom up this is this is gonna be a lot harder but this is where sound horn is gonna be the, the number one thing you can do yeah, he might be in here. Yeah, I hear him. I hear him over here. He's he's either up here or he's in the bathroom right on the other side of this wall. You know what? We're just going to do this. Get some wood, put some stairs here, and then we're going to break up to the top. All right, he's moving. I hear him running around. I hate the thing that sucks about Tilted. I cannot give you guys that good of a tip on this is because I don't even get it, but you hear footsteps everywhere. He sounds so close, but like I don't see where he is. Oh, there he is. There we go. And that's what I meant when I said uh, pump and then switch. You can switch to another shotgun. You can switch to an AR. It doesn't technically have to be the shotgun. I'm going to take this full heals. Get my uh, 
baby pot's back. Let's get to the roof. That's another t tip that I want to tell you guys. When you hear shots, instead of running out in the open, get to the roof. You could see the people. All right, so someone just built those stairs right there. I'm going to push over here. You want to hang out on the roofs because when you're on the roofs, you have high ground. Yeah, see, someone's right there. Oh, bad mistake for him. He's dead. He would have jumped to his death anyways, even if I didn't kill him right there. But yeah, you want to get on these roofs because these rooftops, they give you a lot of leverage. You can see the whole city. You can hear shots from anywhere. And it's really quick to get from place to place when you're on the roofs. As you guys saw, I worked with my sections within Tilted Towers. And that's what you want to do. You want to take it slowly, one step at a time. Um, you can get aggressive and try, but you'll die a lot. Like there's, there's Sometimes you'll actually get lucky and you'll, you'll get a lot of kills if you're aggressive like that. But sometimes you can die just because of unluckiness. Someone being on top of a building. Building, they could kill you but again the, the best technique is to work one building at a time until you stop hearing footsteps there sound whoring is big in this game guys once you stop hearing like footsteps in a building you know you took over that building and, you, and then you just basically do what i'm doing right here is you you look around oh shit oh my god i just messed up <laughs> and that's the, it's all right though i only took 74 i saw a med kit up here so i'm gonna come up here and get this med kit real quick heal up it's a little technique so that way I have both things down here. So I'm not healing. Again, you don't want to heal out in the open. I know I could have been on the roof easily and healed. But there's so many mountains surrounding Tilted Towers that you don't want to just heal on the roof in the middle of open. Because people are coming. Especially look at the circle. The circle's closing in on us. So that means there's going to be a lot of people coming from outside the circle. Basically on top of these little mountain hillsides. They're going to come from this way. As you can see right there, look, there's a guy coming in. I don't think he saw me. And there you go, you get a free kill, man. Because the circle, you gotta pay attention to the circle. You gotta be able to go to fight your battles and then to know that the circle's closing in. Because once you see the circle's closing in, you gotta know people are gonna come from that way. We got some good loot, man. We got a blue AR, green pump, blue tack, baby pots, full health, full shield. We're looking good. We could win this. We took over Tilted Towers with only five kills. That's not a lot. Um, usually I come out with like, all right, this is around the average. Five to eight is around the average. Anything above eight, I usually means I did good at Tilted and it was above average for kills. But we, we, we averaged Tilted Towers. We took it over and the storm's coming in, so we got to get out of here. Get some more wood though. Oh, the next circle is right here on. Dang, that, that's good. I don't have to go too far, but I, I don't want to really be at this little corner because there's, there's not really much action. I saw that person in the middle of lake i'm not really gonna go for loot lake because again i have no sniper um that means i'm gonna end up standing in the open trying to focus that guy or i gotta cross the water which makes me vulnerable to everybody on the outside of loot lake and on the inside of loot lake so instead i'm gonna push up over this hillside over here once i get up over this hillside then nobody's really gonna have a height advantage on me yeah because up here usually sometimes you'll have people coming from like dusty or something coming over this hillside um so you just want to come up here check it around check to see if you see anyone um and it looks like this place hasn't even gotten looted so we're gonna get this chest up here Oh my gosh, what a good chest, man. Give me a scar, some baby shields, and then more... Oh man, it's a good thing no one found this spot because this is the treasure, man. This is the good chest. All right, now now that we have the next circle closing in, we got to look at the map. We got to see where the circle is. And if I push this way, I'm pushing towards like the middle of the circle, and we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to push to the edges of the circle. We're going to go to a dusty depot because that's like at the very edge of the circle. So when the storm closes in, we're going to have people coming from like Salty Springs, Retail Row. We're going to have people coming from over in that general area, and they're going to try and shoot. Or they're going to actually try and be getting in the circle. Okay, there's a guy right there. I don't think he saw me. But we know there's people here at retail. Or, I mean, Dusty Depot. So, once we kill these people here, we got we to gotta be ready for more people to come. Because there's, there's people outside of the circle that can be coming this way. Yeah, I don't see him. We're going to get up top. Like I said, guys, always get high ground advantage on your enemies. We never want to be down low. Oh, I hear shots. Sounds like it's coming from, like, the woods. I see the guy he's shooting at, but where's the guy shooting? Oh, I hear the people down here. Oh, he's clapping. There he is. What is he doing? I think there's... Okay, so I think the guy in the woods killed him finally. I hear another person down below me. I think he was taunting this guy below me. Oh my goodness, those shots are so close. Yeah, he's in here. I wonder if they were teaming. I don't want to take those shots. I don't want to shoot him because then he's going to know I'm here. I want him to think that Dusty Depot's clear. So when he comes over here, he has people to fight. I see him. The thing that I hate about these gates is... Uh, I'm just going to break the top. I hate the gates, man. You can never shoot through it unless you're at a perfect angle. But here, I'm going to break this top. Look at this. So much more angle. Third person peek him. Just go up and down. That's all you got to do. Up and down. Because when you're third person peeking like that, they can't see you. And we're going to get this kid across the map. Stop walking. There we go, baby. 
like I said, man, there's always going to be people on the edge of Dusty Depot coming into this circle. And there, there was that one kill. Actually, you know what? Let me go get this guy's loot over here. I need more mats. The more mats I have, the better. I feel like if I have a lot of mats in the game, I'm more confident. And confidence is huge within the game. So make sure you got to do whatever you can to build your confidence up. Check the circles. I don't see anyone else. I don't see anyone around. I think we could be good. We could start moving to the next circle. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a John Wick. Oh, man. John Wicks are good, but I'm building up. Getting high ground advantage. I'm, I'm peeking and hiding. Peeking and hiding. The reason you want to do this is because you, you give them less time to shoot you. I'm still practicing this technique. Um, I just learned about it. Ninja does it all the time, and that's how I learned. I actually just watched Ninja play, studied him, and I saw that he does it a lot. So that's just it's a big technique you want to learn because, one, um, it doesn't give the enemy a lot of... Let me heal up. doesn't give the enemy a lot of time to shoot at you. Oh, my God. Another freaking person. We're gonna go up one more. Just gonna spray. Just give him some pressure. Make him get nervous. Oh, no ammo. There we go. Oh, no, another person. Oh my god, I'm one shot. All right, I gotta heal up. I think I saw a med kit down here. We're gonna take these, heal up on the med kit. The circle's gonna close in soon, so I gotta get out of here real soon. I'm gonna come up here, though, just to see. So I can third person peek to see if the guy's coming or anything like that. And then I'm gonna heal up. I know it took some time out of my uh, time timer of the circle closing in, but it's fine to do it because if the dude was rushing me, I can see him rushing me and I can kill him. Because I'd rather I'd rather see the guy, know where he's at, know when he's pushing up, and heal at the same time rather than heal blindly and not knowing if he's there or if he's rushing or, you know, something like that. But we're not even going to worry about him. We're just going to head to the circle so we don't take any damage because the storm, I think, I think we're on the third storm. So the, it's going to do like two a second, and then the second it touches the white part, is it'll do five a second. So we don't want to take storm damage i think we'll make it we'll be good because we're on the slow side of the circle i don't see anyone on the out outside edges all right this is exactly where we want to be man on the the closest side of the circle where the purple and the white where the storm and the the safe zone meet because this is where the storm is going to be slow this is where a lot of people are going to be hiding at there's a base right there what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this tree over here to the left i'm going to use that as a, a safe zone like i'm going to use that to hide behind just in case if he starts shooting at me so we're going to push him like, like this because i don't know if he sees me or not but us using this tree will help us out Actually, I don't even think this is a base, and I don't see anyone moving in there, so... I see one person all the way across the map. Oh, man, there's been a fight over here. I see that person across the map. I'm not going to shoot at him now because I, I want to get closer. I, I'd rather get closer, be able to get the kill, rather than tag him up and then someone else finish him off. And then giving my position up. Oh, he's in a, he's in a gunfight with somebody. I got to get there quick. Only five people. Five people and then me. Yeah, he's in a gunfight. I'm going to tag up this kid right here. Oh, he's lit. He's, he's one shot. But I don't want to get focused. I don't want to focus too much on him. Watch this. Oh, no. This dude has so many traps. Oh, he's smart. Sorry. Sorry, panic building. All right, I'm going I'm to just close that off so I don't accidentally go in there. Someone sniped at me. I'm going to go up one more high. Oh, he died. Someone else killed him. It's all right. It's all right. I think there's someone over there. The storm's kind of going to come this way. So what we're going to do... So we're going to get that loot that the guy we killed, we just got to get down there somehow. All right, now that we're down here, all right, we're going to get this loot, but we're just going to destroy each trap, put up a new wall so we don't get shot from the outside. All right, now we got some loot. Ooh, purple tech. Needed that. Some more shield pots. Oh, man. I think we're going to need the grenade launcher. Here, we'll drop. Ugh. This is hard. We'll drop the green pump. Purple tax just as good, and it shoots quicker, so we'll drop that, and we'll use the grenade launcher. The reason I want this is because I saw there was a fat base over there, so I want to make sure that if there's a base, that I have something to destroy the kids. There's only three kids, so there's me, someone, and someone else. Oh, I hear someone. Oh, he's weak. It's John Wick, though. Let's go, baby. I got to heal up. Storm's coming. I got time to heal them. I think the other person shot me from uh, Loot Lake, and that might have been the very first kid that I saw over at Loot Lake from the kind of towards the beginning of the. After I left Tilted, I saw some. Yeah, he's up there. Damn, he's got a fat base. All right, I want to see if we could get closer so we could grenade launch him. Actually, wait, what? I hear him launch. Oh, there he is. He launch padded. What an idiot. The 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 storm was. All right, he's getting aggressive. That's what he's gonna do. He knows it's a one v one. Oh shit. I don't want him to get higher than me, so I gotta go up. There we go. Now I'm higher than him. 
Oh, he's lit. He's scared. Took fall damage, too. The storm's gonna get him. Let's go, baby. That's how you guys get the victory royale. It was only 13 kills. It's alright, though. We're gonna do this little dance. Guys, that's how you get the victory royale. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up, guys. It means the world to me, guys. You guys always kill like a thousand likes on these videos. So if you guys please can, kill a thousand likes. I appreciate that more than anything. Hope you guys enjoyed the Tilted Towers tips. If you wanted part two of Tilted Towers, because I know there's also different places you can land in Tilted, I can give you guys a part two. Or if you guys want, leave in the comments below. I'll do a different place that I land. Either Pleasant Park, Retail Row. I saw some of those as of some of the options. Just let me know in the comments below. Thank you for everything. Appreciate it. We're at 103,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.